and love. Just don't worry, okay? Everything is gonna be fine. I'm sure. Bags of full stuff and stack of cash. Is that all I'm worth? He wants to buy me over and my mother is a willing seller. Love. Because your own thinking. At the end, it's still your own decision to make. She's making it very difficult. She's making it very difficult for me. Love comes with its own fair share of trials. Okay? I guess it's ours to face. We are going to pull through this together. Please stop this. Stop. Stop crying. Okay? Bitch! Bitch! She should consider herself lucky. I have girls coming my way. Far and wide. Pretty girls are once my love. Educated. Sexy. Poor, connected, classy girls looking for my love. Now I'm not paying attention to them. All because of that lunatic. All because of that fool. All she does is give me attitude. Calm down, son. Calm down. I know you are upset. You're supposed to be. Um, just sit down. This might be a good sign. A good sign? Yes. You said it yourselves, that other girls are crawling to have your attention. But this one refused to be impressed. Try as much as you could. So? How is that a good sign? Yes. If she eventually accepts to marry you, it will not be because of the throne, your wealth, or money, but because she is genuinely in love with you. In that case, you have to change your tactics. Stop trying to woo her with gifts. Rather, your personality, courage, and strength. Well, I, I don't think that will work either. I mean, I met her with a man who she says is her fiancé. You met her with another man? That is a problem, Mom. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I met her with another man. In that case, you have to forget about her. Let her go. Well, at this point, it appears that you really don't know your son. Because if you know me too well, you will not be seated down here telling me to forget about the woman I love. If you must know, Mother, I love challenges. I embrace challenges. I face challenges. I do not give up for what I want. That girl is all I want. I will never ever give up on the woman I love.
Uh, there is something about yesterday that is reassuring whenever I remember it. You can guess what I'm thinking. Tell me, what are you thinking? I feel so proud and lucky. Why? Because you stood up to the prince and bluntly chose me over the prince. Oh, Femi, why are you making this sound like a big deal when it's not? It's a big deal for me. Oh, why? Because I love it when you said those words. <sighs> Come on, Femi. Well, you know there's actually nothing to choose about the prince. You know oh, that, right? Come on. He's a prince and the king to be. Oh, Femi. But you know you're my prince and my king. Mm -hmm. You know that, right? Hmm. Hmm. You wow. know what I can do? What can you do? Based on that looks you're giving me. <laughs> what can you do? You know what, what I can stop do. Stop it, you hmm? spoiled <laughs> brat. You know, what you know. what the... <laughs> <laughs> you see, normally I don't do this, but for some reason, sorry, I have to talk to you. If you have sense, you will understand the angle I'm going to. I love to use war to drive away my point. But I'm trying to be, you know, as responsible as I can be because you are a stranger. So, what I'm about to tell you now, I will love you to make a choice. Making that choice especially is for your own good. If I were you, you do the right thing. The right thing is knowing your class, knowing that you don't have what it takes to toss with me. You don't have it. So all you have to do is doing the right thing and know your class and um, abscond from trouble. I want you to leave my woman alone. I don't want to see you anywhere close to her. This is some reasonable amount of money. I believe it is much more bigger than you allow we for NYSC. More than a year, I guess, or two years, or three years. Even much more for business. Now, the reason for this money I want you to stay away from my woman. I don't want to see you anywhere close to her. Kilewi? Did you say your woman? Huh? Could you daft? Of course you know who I'm talking about. Mm. Do you have a problem with that? Huh? Take this money. I will not tolerate questions next time. Mm -hmm. Do you like it? Of course. Femi. Why do people think they can always have their way because they have loads of money to throw around? Why? I definitely told him off. My love for you is not for sale. But you know he's not going to give up easily, you know that, right? Neither am I. Giving up is not an option for me. My love for you will be at every stop. 
Thank you. Mama, and I'm your progress. Leave us alone. Leave her alone to go. enjoy the what God has prepared for her. Leave us alone. Mama, leave us alone. Mama. Mama, 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 stop it. Mama, stop, stop. Mama, 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 Mama. Mama, this is your dream is not fair. It's not fair. Femi, Femi, please wait. Oh, yeah, kill me. Finally, oh, Mama, I want me to enjoy the good things God wants me to enjoy. Mama, wrap up my ass. Kill me, 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 Sorry, my bad. Um, good afternoon. Please, have you seen Femi? Um, since morning he left, I've not seen him. I even thought he went to see you. Since morning? Hey. Hey. Is, is anything the problem? No, everything is fine. Yes, everything is fine. Behaving like the whole village is on fire. Would you? I am worried. I'm worried. Femi doesn't know any way around this place, so he cannot just miss like that. <laughs> Femi, 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 this Femi, that. Femi is a grown man. For crying out loud, he might be somewhere enjoying himself. No, 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 no. What if the prince has done something to him? Hey! Hey! What do you mean the prince has done something to him? I don't understand. Would you? You will not understand. <laughs> The prince sees him as a threat. A threat? Yes. How? How? Would you? The prince wants to marry me and I refused. So he sees Femi as a threat. So he, he must have done something wrong to him. Well, <laughs> this is not my business. So please, I beg you, don't try and rope me into something I don't know. I wonder what the prince sees in you that any other girl in this village doesn't have. How? Like, I don't, I don't get it. At any given opportunity, you always want to talk down on the prince. And yet he's after you. What is all this about? Please. I'm sick and tired of all this prince. This, that, 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 that. I will just... I'm sorry to bother you. Thank you. Please. Nobody will ever hear something else in this village as I can. Are you the only beautiful girl of this village? Ah. 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 
Said, they said I should stay away from you. They said the I stay away from you. I bet it's the prince that sent them. The prince? Where are you going to? To the palace. You can't. The prince of your power, I thank God for my life. I have a miracle, God. The prince of your power, I thank God for my life. I have a miracle, God. Are you making any headway? Take a chill pill, Mom. I told you I never lose out in any challenge. She's already mine. Are you sure you did not resort to something stupid? All is fair in love and war. And what do you mean by that? Well... Is that all you could do? Is that all you could do? Sending thoughts to do your dirty job for you. Really? What a pleasant surprise. Choose your words. Do you realize you are in the presence of His Royal Majesty and you are speaking to the Crown Prince? Majesty, I am sorry, but this man here does not deserve my respect after what he has done today. Nandi, what did you do? He sent folks to beat up my fiance. And, and they beat the living daylight out of him. Is that true, Nandi? Well, something like that. She said it all. Um, apart from the fact she didn't mention I told him to break his ribs. But that's by the way. They say he didn't want it a peaceful way. So I just had to do it my way. I can't be dragging my woman with a common ribs. How could what? Uh, Femi! Uh, oh my God. Femi, uh, what? Uh, what? Uh, God! Hey, Hey, Freddy. Oh, oh my heart. Agnes. Oh. Are you okay? Oh. Agnes, my queen. Hey, your oh. Majesty, have you seen that thing I was telling you? I ah, have seen it. You have seen it. My queen. My queen. Make sure you take care of them. Uh. You see what I was telling you? Uh. Did you hear me? Yes. yes. Make sure you take care of them. I hate to thank you. We will talk about this later. I warned you. I told you not to do anything stupid. I now realize that you don't know when to stop. <laughs> How is he? Um, he'll be fine. Huh? 
I put him on drip. And I've given Agnes the list of drugs to buy. Can I go and see him now? No. Give me a couple of hours. Huh? I have to take my leave now. It's okay, doctor. Bye. 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 My heart is bleeding, if I seen you somewhere before. Just don't worry. I'll be back right now. Agnes, Your Majesty, what is it that you wanted me to say? Your Majesty, it's good you say to yourself. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know that some, someone is in here. I, I, I'm sorry for barging on you, okay? I'm so sorry. I, I just have to leave now, okay? Please, 
Why? Why does it look like this place is kind of familiar to me? And your face. Have I seen you before? Feeling this way. Hello. Are you are you are you okay? Don't make a call, please. Please. Please don't do this. Okay, let me let me just go. Let me just go, please. Can't you talk? Let me take you home. Leave me alone. I am not leaving here without Femi. But you heard what the doctor said. He will be fine. What is your problem? The doctor just confirmed that he will be fine. It's just a minor thing. Can you kindly take a chill pill and try not to be up in the heel? Okay. I understand how you feel, of course. I mean, it's out of place for me to do what I did, but I still want you to understand. I did it because of you. Excuse me? You almost killed my man. And all you could come up with is this flimsy excuse? Are you such a psychopath? Well, what do you expect from a man who is madly in love with you? Of course, I'm going to be very aggressive. Prince Namdi, you are incapable of loving anyone. You know nothing about love. You cannot love even yourself. That shit hurts. The truth always hurts, most times. Okay, now. Let's talk, right? I am ready to do anything. Mimi, just tell me what I need to do for you to make you love me. Shut up, shut up! Nothing. Why is it so difficult for you to understand that you cannot by me. Look, there are so many girls in this village. You can choose any one of them. That is a problem. I am not seeing any girl. And I am seeing just you. You, you, and, and I, you. I belong to someone else. 
I belong to someone else. Just leave me alone. But why is it hard for you to understand that this man here loves you? And why is it so difficult for you to understand that I cannot love you? Okay. This whole thing is beginning to sound like a crossfire. Now I need to understand. What is it you see in that boy that you don't see in me? Look at me. I have all it takes to have you. I have money. Just name it. Why is it difficult for you, Kainene? Do you really want to know? Of course I want to know. I really want to know. I have all the patience in the world to know. Everything I don't see in you, I see in him. Did you see the young man pass through here? No. What happened? He's not in the room? He's not in the room. How? Where could he have gone to? Well... Maybe he's, he's somewhere. He could be somewhere around the palace. I mean, is that why we're all looking warped up? He's just a lunatic. He should be... He should be somewhere. He should be somewhere. You have to leave now. They want to kill you. Who wants to kill me? And why would they want to kill me? And how are you supposed to know that someone wants me dead? I, I don't know you. you. You don't know me. I'm just seeing you and you're giving me all this. I don't, I don't understand. You, you, can, you, you can't talk. What am I even doing here? What am I even... Why am I even wasting my time with you? You, you? you can't explain anything, you can't talk, you can't... I don't understand what I'm doing here. It's okay, I... I have to take my leave now. to the king now. Why? I don't, I, I, don't, I, I don't just understand you. You're not telling me anything, you're not making sense. I don't understand all this. I mean, you, excuse me, maybe you're mistaking me for someone else. Oh, yeah, 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 you, you're actually mistaking me for someone else. Just take care, okay? What? You can't talk, you can't walk. You, 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 you're not even telling me what I'm understanding. Maybe something is wrong with your mind too. I should take it and write something. Oh, something written already. Uh, okay. I should hide it.
I am your dad. I'm dad. The king. And I'm proud of you. I'm dad. And I'm equally happy that you're making us proud. Oh, thank you. I want to use this opportunity to send you outside the world to experience something new. Mm -hmm. So that by the time you come back, you will be matured both in body and spirit to be the king of your kingdom. This is me standing here thinking deeply of what you told me. What you don't see in here. You don't see me. I mean, how the hell did you say that bullshit anyway? For crying out loud, I have money. Essential. I have. Femi. Oh, uh, sorry, sorry. Where did you go? Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Just a slight headache. Oh, sorry, sorry. Mm. I saw him looking confused. Oh. Um, Your Majesty. Um, I thank you for everything. For your hospitality. Thank you so much. We'll take our leave now. Huh? Mm. Um, are you sure you are strong enough to leave? Yes, I am. Well, I can see you're properly mended. Bones looking retail and bandages here and there. Nice souvenir for a stubborn boy, though. Well, this is me trying to be a nice person. You know, I could drop you off if you want. i give you a ride. Don't bother. We are okay. We can manage. Mm. Mm. Oh, easy. Thank you. Eh? Mm. Love is not by force. Mm. A force is in a lover. Love is not by force. A mess in a force. It comes not around. Is there a good sea? He returns to me. I feel me a good person. Yeah, I'm married. I'm going to get you. I'm a priest. You are destroying this kingdom with your character. Is there a good sea? He returns to me. I feel me a good person. Yeah, I'm married. The atrocity is getting too much. You are going out of hand Oh, you can hear it, mama
Uh, I'm sorry. These are the drugs that the doctor prescribed for you. Oh, thank you. Anything else? Not really. Okay. Oh, please. Can I ask you something? Oh, go ahead. Um, who is Jiden now? From where did you hear that name? Never mind. I, I think I don't know what I'm talking about. Never mind. It's okay. Really? Yes. This is my number. Please call me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Let's go. Have you seen what you've done? I warned you. I want you not to do anything stupid. But you only do what is in your mind. Just imagine, you have lost everything. Oh, no. I did not lose nothing. Don't worry. She will soon come around. Stop it! Stop it! Leave her alone! Can't you see they're both in love? Huh? There are other girls out there that you can go for. And if you ask me, she does not even fit to be your wife. You are far above her league. So why are you disturbing yourself? No woman has ever rejected me, Mom. Don't worry. Do you know why? Because I am top-notch. Because I have what they want. Now, I will soon become the king. That is enough credit. I have money. Okay? Don't worry, you are here. You will definitely see that I will marry the girl. So do not say I lost, because I did not lose nothing. Oh, I see. So, it's about your pride, right? I don't know what you tend to call it. It's about your pride, right? But be careful before it destroy you. And I will not sit and watch you drag this family name to the mud. You know this thing? The king! I, I don't know what is happening to him. Kainen, where are you coming from? Kainen, I'm talking to you. Come back. Come back here. Kainen, I said come back here. You were just there. You scared the boss. Sisters to the great Now, Father, I will 
It's just a matter of time. Just very soon, I will. Time is of essence. Do this. I receive my blessings before I join my ancestors. Son. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Maybe you eat it later. Yeah. Um, Fermi, you know I've not really apologized for the way my mother treated you yesterday. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry about it. It's okay. It's fine. I don't really need to apologize. You know, a lot has not been in my mind. Oh, really? Yeah. You care to share? Some strange things happened in the palace yesterday. Oh, what happened? You know, it looks so strange. I mean, the whole place looks so familiar. The face, the architecture, it looks like I've been there before. Ah. Yeah. Have you been there? Have you been to the palace since you came here for your service here? No, no. Not at all. <sighs> but other coppers, they always go there for courtesy visits anytime they come, sorry. <sighs> Our own is slated for next week. Oh, oh, okay then. So that's like a deja vu then, so... I, I, I think so, but it's, it was so real and very tangible. I met a lady there. Okay. She was seated on a wheelchair and she couldn't talk. That should be Princess Dara. She's been like that for some time. In fact, the villagers have not seen her for some years now. She doesn't come out, she doesn't talk to anybody, she does not relate with anybody. She's just there. Why? What happened to her? It's quite complicated. In fact, the hotel surrounding the royal family is, is a bit dicey, to be honest. It's quite sad, really. Yes, very sad. Who is Jidenna? Jidenna? That's another sad story. It all happened while we were still children, you know. Jirena was the crown prince, but himself and his mother and their guards were murdered on their way to the airport. You know, he was supposed to resume boarding school in Abuja. So, that was it. Were the murderers caught? I for where? Not at all. Not at all. The lady I saw in that room, she gave me something. 
a diary. She gave you her diary? Yes. Why would she give you her diary? Maybe she's trying to tell you something. Trying to tell me something. Yeah, why would she give you her diary if not that she's trying to tell you something? Why That's... would she try to tell me something where she doesn't even know me? Have you gone through the diary? I have not, actually. Just towards the first page. Yes, I think she's trying to tell me a, a big part of her life as a child. Mm -mm. Femi, I think you need to read this. You need to read it. Get this. I don't just understand what whatever she's trying to write there. Honestly, Femi, I actually think you should start from the beginning because this looks like a chronicle consisting of facts and figures that is yet to be unscrambled as well as verified. Just go through it, just take your time and read it. It's not something you should rush, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. There seems to be so much in here. Please take your time and read it. It will really help. I don't know you got this soon, but I'm glad you did. Why do you insist we meet here? You see, I don't know the possibility. But if what I am thinking is right, meeting here is, is just the best place. It's safer. Safer? Yes. What is going on? Why is everybody trying to put me on an edge? Yesterday, Princess Dera said they are about to kill me. Now you, what is going on? Princess Dera? Yes. You met with her? I barged into her room. And I think she has been the one telling you about Jidenna. Yes, and I don't know why I feel that I need to know about Jidenna. It's like I'm being part of the mystery. Life, they say, is full of mystery. I heard he was murdered and those behind it were never caught. I see you've been asking questions. Tell me, where are you from? My name is Femi. Exactly my point. So tell me, where are you from? I'm from Ibadan and my both parents are from there. And this mark on your back, tell me, how did you get it? Why are you so particular about the mark on my body? Because it's not a mark given to a random person. It's a mark given to a crown prince of this kingdom. And what exactly is your point? My point is that someone whom I took care of when he was younger had the exact mark as yours. So that's my confession. Jidenna? Yes. You think I'm Jidenna? I desperately wish my intuition is right. I heard he was murdered. Yes, he was murdered. But his body and that of his mother were never found. And I see so much resemblance. Fortunately, I'm Yoruba. I'm not from here. Exactly my confusion. I don't know why the gods have chosen to play games on us. There is a lot of information inside this diary. How did you get this diary? Princess Dera gave it to me. I think there's a lot of things he's trying to explain inside this diary. Carries a lot of information. <coughs> you know, so, 
after much. As you can see, we're going to end it here. Okay? You know why I'm doing all these things? I want you to go to school and be a graduate like me. I know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Education is beautiful. I know. I didn't say education. Edu education. Yes. I heard yeah. you. I heard you. <laughs> <laughs> How is that even possible? Even if Prince Jidenna were still to be alive, you are Yoruba from Ibadan. And your both parents are Yoruba too, from Ibadan. So you can see there is no connection. You see, Agnes is a very good woman, but I actually think old age is beginning to tell on her. Honestly. They are not my biological parents. What are you talking about? I was adopted. Destiny can be late, but not denied. Make a joke of anywhere, man, be clear. You see, I forget you, say, get you the lesson. Open your seat, Kalaka, your neighbor, Boki, Abu Mua, not to know me for father. Is there anyone to trust? I But I thank God for my life. I have a miracle, God. Never know. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not does this still hurt you? Mildly. Uh, yes, you want to why? Uh, oh, me. I want you to see it as a constant reminder of your survival. In Turikbe, I am very sure that you really want to know who your true parents are. How I wish your mother and I could help. Um, Femi, I know that all the times you were in the hospital, we did everything within our reach to make sure that we locate your real parents. But all efforts was proved abortive. We could not locate them. Uh, especially when you were transferred to Lagos Teaching Hospital. Bami, thank you so much. You and Mami are the parents that I've known. You've taken and loved me like your son. If you didn't tell me, I wouldn't have known all this. I will forever be grateful to you. Thank you so much. Femi or Mami, we loved you. In Torikbe, our only son, Dayo died when he was still a little boy. So you are the only child we have. So see Are you hungry? Let me call your mother to prepare something for you. Sugar? You never told me about this. Yes, because I've never really considered myself as adopted. They told me because they felt that I have the right to know who my real parents are if I choose to look for them. So, have you thought of looking for them? I mean, your real parents. Why? Why should I look for people that I never have any ties with? These people loved me. They cared for me. They, they, they took me as their own. So what more could I ever ask for? What more? These people loved me.
Oh. This? That's me when I was younger. Mm -hmm. Fine boy, little Femi at the Bumiro. <laughs> yeah. This is Prince Jidenna's picture. How did you get it? That's 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 me when I was young younger. Wait. Are you saying that? How is that possible? So you left Mama to do the whole house chairs while you were still sleeping by this time? Oh, I've been working since morning, so I just needed to take a nap. Really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. I actually thought you'd forgotten all about me. No, no. You know, that can never be possible. Rather, I'll drop everything, including my throne, to be by your side. Oh, you flatter me. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> so tell me, how are you enjoying your new lifestyle? Uh, I still find it very difficult. It's like I'm dreaming, you know, waiting to wake up one day to find myself in my crummy lodge. <laughs> well, you can see it's not a dream, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm still... Sometimes, fate place a fast one on us. Yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. But I still going to it's still going to take me time to get used to it. Don't worry. You will eventually. Huh? Yeah, I know, I know. You're up for a walk? A walk? Yeah. No. 